time. Inbound Wallace. Wallace gets it ahead to Clark. Clark will drive, get to the rim, lay it in. It's a four-point game. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Tracking Ace. Welcome on in, everybody, man. Um, Caitlin Clark achieves her first 30-point game of her WNBA or professional career, and she got it against the LA Sparks, who was actually the first team that she had a win against in this league back on Friday night when she got the game winning the shot against them. But unfortunately, the Sparks changed some things up in this game, and they were able to to beat Caitlin Clark this time around and at one point the Sparks were way up in this game and then uh, the fever started to close late so it got a little bit closer and this was a game to me man where uh, obviously it was also the Kate Caitlin Brink versus Caitlin Clark game uh, second second time they faced off against each other Unfortunately, uh, Cameron Brink didn't have a really good game today. Um, it wasn't even so much foul trouble like she's beginning to. She just didn't get off enough shots. The coach didn't really play her too much in the second half. Um, so she only ended up with three points. So she did get a couple of blocks and a steal. So she's still playing really good defense. But offensively, it was probably one of her worst games so far. The Sparks did improve to one and four. Um... Actually, two and four, my bad, y'all. Two and four and one and one on the road. While the fever falls to one and seven, they are still winless at home. I was really thinking this was going to be a game. Probably the best chance this week for the fever to get their first home win for Caitlin Clark of the season and of her career. Uh, Gamebridge Fieldhouse still looked pretty packed. From what I heard, it was over 16,000. That's really good for a WNBA game, man. Uh, these fever games are going to be packing them in and they play at the Pacers arena so it's a pretty big arena that they're filling up every night um so the fever will play uh the storm Seattle storm just knocked off the Chicago Sky so Angel Reese's team they knocked them off tonight um and then the big one on Saturday Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark first showdown Saturday that game will be on very early I think like 12 p.m eastern time on CBS, so it will be on a uh, local TV though. It'll be on CBS on Saturday, um, in the Fever are home the whole week. So we'll see how this goes. But let's talk about this, man. So Kayla Clark had an amazing game, man. She had 30 points. She was seven for 16 from the field, three for 10 from the three point. She had a lot of free throws, bro. She was 13 out of 15. She went to the line 15 times, made 13 of them. She also had a pretty efficient day uh, offensively outside of points. She had six assists, uh, grabbed about five rebounds, but the turnovers are still pretty high for Caitlin right now. She's still needing the game to slow down, and she actually got into a little bit of foul trouble. She had five fouls, and she had a technical foul in this game as well. Um, but when she was on the floor, she was a plus six, which is a good sign, and she played some defense. She got three blocks, three steals. Caitlin Clark is definitely going to be a pretty good two-way player, man. I think defensively, once everything slows down, man, I think she's going to be a demon, man. To get, like, three blocks, she got more than Cameron Brink today. Um, and three steals, bro. She just needs the rest of the team to pick it up. Now, Kelsey Mitchell had another good game at 15 points. Aaliyah Boston seems to be heating up now. She had 17 points, six rebounds, bro. Um, but it's like they're still missing 
a little bit here. Um, Chrissy size is the problem. I, I blame this loss on Chrissy size. Chrissy size still can't coach some shit, bro. Um, she is really bad, bro. I mean, she's bad, bro. She is really bad, bro. Her rotations are really bad because, like, Kia Nurse was the hot one for the Sparks today. She had 22. Rikia Jackson had 12. Hamby was another problem for them. Uh, 17 and 10 today for her. But the defense was just, and also McDonald had 21. I forgot to mention her. Um, but it was just like, man, bro. Uh, this was. This is just rough, man. Her, like her rotations, her sets, the way she subs and players in and out is just horrible. The and she always leaves Caitlin Clark off the floor when they need her the most. Like her minutes aren't structured right to me. Whenever she comes out of the game, that's when it's like the other team just starts fucking blowing them out, bro. And it's like, oh my god. The way Caitlin played tonight, uh, she was very aggressive getting to the line, but I really felt like. They could have did more, even more around her offense. She would have got 35 today to me if they would have dictated to her a little bit more. But I will say this is part of one game where I could say the way Caitlin played tonight is the way I want to see her continue to play. Now, I, I know the Sparks are, probably, are the West, going to probably end up being the worst team in the Western Conference. But still, I really believe that. But here's the thing, though. Caitlin Clark only had 11 against them last Friday. So... Um, I think and she's had a couple of 20-point games against the best teams in the league so far. They've had a tough schedule this year. So, Caitlin Clark is still someone who uh, has a big upside as far as what she can do the rest of the season, man. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. They don't see the Sparks until September, so towards the end of the season. Uh, I think it's after Labor Day, like uh, a couple of days after Labor Day. So, um, they don't see them for a couple of months. So we won't see her go against Cameron Brink for, for basically the rest of the summer. Um, which is unfortunate. I wish they would have spaced these games out a bit so we could at least see her maybe like around June or July, um, preferably July. Um, and Caitlin definitely doesn't have to go back to LA from what I know too. So we'll see how that goes, man. But, yeah, man, this was a rough one when it comes to just this team, bro. They should have won today, bro. Um, but the good thing is that Caitlin exploded for 30. She found her way to the line. That's a really good thing for a rookie. And she's going to go to the line a lot in this league. Like, once the rest really learn her and she be, continues to be aggressive and going, and, and she was going to the paint. That's why she was getting to the free throw line, too. Um, She's going to have a lot of free throw attempts. I expect her to have a good, at least, you know, I know she had 15 today. I expect her to be like around 10, at least getting like 10 free throws a game. Um, and then the rest should be from the field. Uh, but she definitely, definitely her best home game. She hasn't had many home games. See, I think this is the third home game she's had. The rest of them have been on the road. So... Hopefully the Fever find a way to get Seattle off the because they played Seattle really well last week, but Seattle played Chicago really good tonight, so I don't know about that one yet. They seem to be gelling lately. Ever since they faced Caitlin Clark, they've been gelling. I think they won like four in a row or something like that. So Seattle won't be easy. Chicago won't be easy. Chicago plays defense. Um, I think a big reason why they lost today was uh, – uh, Marina Mabry didn't have a really good game for him, man. They needed her to have a really good shooting game to keep up with Jewel Lloyd and the girls. So, um, we'll see how they all works out, man. But give me your thoughts on this game, man. I think Chrissy's ass, man. She has to go, bro. Like, I think if they lose this whole week, I think on sat after Saturday's game, she needs to be fired. Go on ahead and let one of the assistants be the t um, coach for the rest of the season. Because I don't think they're going to hire Lisa Bluter inside of the season. Um, I think they're going to wait until next year, but man, oh man, bro, it's, it's, it's ugly right now, bro. Uh, but the, the really good thing outside of her is that Aaliyah Boston seems to be playing better. She plays better. They're going to win a lot more the rest of the season than they are right now. Uh, once they figure it out as a team, they just need a little bit more talent on this team too. Like as much as I do want to blame Chrissy Saz, and I do blame her for at least 90% of these losses. <laughs> but I had to be realistic. This team just isn't talented enough around Caitlin, bro. 
and uh, Aliyah Boston, bro. They need some more talent on this team, man. They need to make some trades at the deadline uh, and get a really good pick in the draft, bro. Uh, I don't know if they can get Paige Be uh, Beckers, but, you know, they can try, bro. But give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. Tracking Ace.